let's graph y equals negative cosine of x minus pi over 3. So first of all, notice that it's a cosine graph, and it's a negative cosine graph. So my normal cosine graph, let's just take your typical 1, 2, 3, 4. Typically, you've got, these are your five main points, and I always would say that our amplitude is up here. Let's say that this is 1. Notice our amplitude is 1. Our normal graph, when it's a cosine graph, would start up here, and it would go through this point, down to this point, up to here, and back up, ending up here. So our normal graph would look like this. And you draw that shape in with those five, I call those the five key points. That's your normal graph. But this is a negative, so it's going to be flipped. Instead of starting up here, it's going to start down here and go like that. So let me redo that to show you what it's going to be. So my, my graph, since it's negative, is going to start at the bottom. It's going to end at the bottom. It's going to go through, or in the, at the top. Notice I'm, I'm visualizing these intervals as five points. It's going to go start and end at the bottom. In the middle, it's going to be at the top. And at the, at the second and fourth point, it's going to be at the middle line of my graph. And so now draw your curve. Remember, it's a, it's a smooth curve like that. It's not a V or anything like that. So make sure you draw that curve in. But now I'm not done because I also have to shift it right pi over 3. So normally this would be pi, this would be 2 pi, and this would be um, 3 pi over 2, and this would be pi over 2, and this is 0. But now since I'm shifting it pi over 3 to the right, I'm going to literally add pi over 3 to each one of these things and do a little bit of algebra work here. Add pi over 3, add pi over 3, add pi over 3 to each one of these. So when I add them, I get pi over 3 here, obviously. This is the pi common pi. denominators of 6, so that's 5 pi over 6. This is uh, common denominators right here of 3, so this is 4 pi over 3. This is um, common denominators of 6, so 9, 10, 11. Did I do that right? 11 pi over 6, I think. And this is going to be 7 pi over 3. So then what I do is I take my eraser and I erase everything so that I don't have to redraw the graph. I just erase everything, including this line right here. I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to move my um, my x or my y axis over here a little bit more to the left. That's just the easier way for me to do it. And then I, like I said, I just erase the rest of this so that you don't see all the work that I did. Or I do the work on the side, but I want it I want it to be clear that I know where those values are and what those points are. Whoops, I erased one too many. What was this? Eleven pi over six. So that's how I would graph that equation.